y'all. I'm Nini, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Okay, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always, always, and forever going to be loved and appreciated, okay? God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart, you are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give the Pisces your collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? Um, I feel like... You can have your mind on love at this time, okay? Because I was just thinking about love, okay? Somebody trying to put you to bed, okay? You about to get this money because the next <laughs> this song is that's playing is Bed by Jay Holiday, okay? And the next song is Get Money by Lil Baby, okay? <laughs> so you got to get this money. Um, you could be um, high energy as hell right now, okay? You could be seeing fives and eights, okay? You could be a life path number five or eight, okay? Um, you could feel like um, you got like storms, okay? Because this this tornado caught my attention, okay? I seen one, one, one on the clock, okay? You um, could have gone through like some sort of storm lately, you know? Um, I was talking, um, well, Archangel Uriel and Archangel Gabriel were talking in their reading about um, shaking things up, you know? Like spirits really doing a lot of shaking of things, okay? We got on your knees. Okay, let me get the other two. So I'm gonna like focus on each one of these overall energies, okay? Um, and really get like we're gonna dig into like the meaning of each one, okay? Like I love these these readings that um the archangels have given me today, okay? They're fire, <laughs> and I'm just freestyling it, you know, getting back into you know the swing of it, okay? Because I was gone for a couple of weeks, okay? But it was so necessary and fun. It was so fun, okay? Look at the good vibrations a archangel at the bottom of the deck okay um i definitely caught a lot of good vibes you know i caught a couple of vibes i really didn't want you know a couple of issues you know that i well a couple of seeming issues that seemed like issues you know but they were actually very easy to address you know what i mean and i'm glad that i did okay we got flirting right here um at the bottom of this deck okay I'm getting money. I'm getting money. Okay. You you haven't, I'm telling you, you're about to have somebody coming around flirting with you or somebody already flirting with you right now. Okay. You could have made three very significant wishes recently. You know, I feel like you could feel like you've been doing a lot of like back breaking work. You know what I mean? Like you were the only one doing all this work. You know what I mean? Um, like scrubbing floors and handling the business you know but also this these pillars you know in this checkered floor it's giving me um the halls of a minty you know um which gives me like you're just you just been learning you know this all this back breaking work and all of this you know things that you've been putting your mind body and soul into okay have all been you know to paying off for you okay like so i hope you don't feel like you know you're you know dragging yourself down or doing all of this shit you know like for no reason okay all of this is going to pay off okay like you're out here looking like the star okay looking amazing all of the things that you have wished for and have asked for and have been working with spirit and have been working on manifesting is absolutely going to come to you okay you're going to see these things appear in your reality okay you hear those sirens I think you should know you saved my life, okay? I feel like you're out here saving lives. Like, I don't think you realize what you've done for me. I don't think you realize what a little love could mean, okay? Hold on, there's more. <laughs> Let me... Oh, you, you stayed by my side and you, you kept on the lights and you knew just what to say when I was fading. Sometimes all that you need is someone who you can believe in more than you do. I was lost until I saw your halo. I was blind until I saw your light. I believe, oh friend, we all have angels and you are mine. Hey, I think you should know you saved my life. I just feel like you guys are in this amazing, grateful energy. You know what I mean? And so it's attracting all this gratitude. Like 
people are all of a sudden being very grateful for the energy that you offer. You know what I mean? Really reveling in your advice and in the, just the light that you shine on them. Okay. Like, oh my gosh, that makes me feel so like good. I can't even explain the way I feel like in that energy. Okay. It says, it says your humbling circumstances are giving you a new positive perspective. Sure. This may hurt a little, but it is worth it in the long run. There is something undeniably humbling about scrubbing the floor. Just ask Cinderella. For a while, she had it all. She had a rich, loving father, a beautiful home, and all the clothes money could buy. Then dad passed, and so did all her material goods. And a lot of her free time and loving support, interestingly, she did not she did a lot of singing while scrubbing the floors. She seemed to be able to focus on the moment. That's the message of this card. In the midst of humbling circumstances, that is often when we are really able to see grace. It's a time of feeling humble and perhaps stalled. That's when we can see the in-between places where real magic lives. Cinderella sang with the birds and mice while doing daily chores. She saw the beauty of nature and music while she was on her knees the humbling circumstances you are experiencing right now are a gateway to other realms your angels suggest you surrender to your new situation and find a new perspective this is a time and place which rich with results although appearances may seem otherwise now is the time to seize the opportunity of being on your knees okay so you're just out here i heard out here in the trenches doing this hard ass work okay <laughs> knowing faithfully that things are going to pay off okay out here hanging you know upside down voluntarily okay because this person is like a ballet you know um um, and even like the way that like this is a window, you know what I mean? And it's kind of like diagonal, you know, it's like changing the way that you've been seeing things, you know, um, and this is the 10 of crystals. Okay. The 10 of pentacles, you know, that money energy that I was talking about, you know, but the 10 of pentacles is also a very grounded type of energy. You know, it is like, you know, you, you collected all of the little pentacles along the way, you know, really following that breadcrumb trail that spirit is leaving for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got the page of cups, you know, always looking at your world with like this new sense of wonder is really how, you know, like really focusing in the moment, really following your intuition and really knowing that there's always more growing to do. OK, that's where you had and it's great. OK, it's got you headed towards a much calmer place. OK, a calm place with less, less work. The ace of pentacles was under that, you know. It's like, um, I'm hearing Holy Grail, okay? It says in love with your ex, okay? Some of you guys could be in love with your ex still, okay? Um, it says, I anoint. This is number 218, okay? It says, I anoint. Um, and then it says, Mark... 16 chapter 16 verse 1 and it says John chapter 12 verse 3 which really makes me want to read it okay <laughs> I want to know what those scriptures say okay um but the angel meaning of that is expect an influx of funds okay come on now a win a promotion or pay raise use extra money wisely okay so uh you know you about to get this money like I can't tell you enough, okay? You're attracting money. You're very magnetic at this time, okay? But I just feel like it's because you're accepting yourself, your mistakes, your everything that comes with you, okay? It says, can we pretend? <laughs> can we pretend that airplanes in the night nice sky are like shooting stars? Because I could really use a wish right now. And, and then and we got three wishes up here, okay? Um, and then we got Fihu, okay? Um, it says wealth. <laughs> it says um, Frey, wealth, mother rune, okay? So I just feel like, you know... Um, you don't necessarily have to be in love with your ex, but I feel like your ex could have caused you a lot of grief and it could have taken you a while to 
get over them you know what I mean and now that you've gotten over them you know you're kind of getting into the hang of things you know in the swing of kind of you know just being alone you know accepting where you are realizing you're never really truly alone okay and that is why you're so magnetic why you're attracting you know this money this wealth it doesn't necessarily have to be physical money okay but on the ten of crystals she holding that money in her hand and that money is behind her as well you know and then she's got these two dogs you know I just feel like everything is in order because you are balanced you know much more balanced than you think you know so it's like spirit might have you in the trenches okay which is kind of what I was doing on my break you know what I mean I spent my break kind of in the tr in the trenches okay in the streets <laughs> learning okay that's where I fucking learned from okay I learned from like the most craziest people okay <laughs> like have you seen the people that I actually like hang out with and chill you know they tend to be you know a little bit more rough around the edges you know what I mean like um I'm hearing all I fuck with is gangsters and strippers you know but I mean <laughs> gangsters and strippers are a lot more um you know profound and deep than they get credit for okay um and also you know they're really hard workers they're hustlers and I love that about them you know and they tend to be very open-minded because they are the type of people you know who are always being judged always being you know sort of categorized and put in some sort of box you know like that's who they have to be okay so of course I would attract those kinds of energies okay because I'm the queen of giving a whole speech about how you're amazing and you should just do whatever you want and live your life the way you want to live it okay and you could be exactly like that you know and you could even attract you know a rougher type of crowd to yourself because you're meant to guide those types of people you know and make their amazing wonderful light um a thing that they are more aware of okay and so that's why people could be looking at you you know like you're their angel you know like they just love and appreciate you okay even if they don't show you the song is saying i make you believe in magic won't you believe in me like a fairy tale we're so classic we'll live our fantasies okay you make people believe in magic okay they love you and and your perspective on life okay so i hope you don't feel like you know um, your opinions and the things that you say to people don't matter because people go home at night and they think about all of the stuff that you said to them today when y'all was hanging out you know and it really does soak in with them you know and then they look at you like oh my gosh like I never had anyone talk to me like that or advise me like that you know I really like that and also you know um you could be a little bit more I don't know I forgot what I was going to say, <laughs> if I'm being honest, okay, because I thought about, because <laughs> Spirit put the X in my head, you know, even with this in love with your X energy, you know, I feel like the tables have turned, you know, like where you were pining over your X, you know, now your X is kind of looking at you like, wow, like now that she forgot about me or now that he forgot about me, you know, they looking good, you know, they're looking amazing, you know, even wondering like, well, did I make a mistake, you know, should I go back and go try to get my X back because they doing their thing, you know. You know, <laughs> um, it says, and when the Sabbath passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome had brought sweet spices at, that they might come and anoint him. Okay. So like it said, I anoint. Okay. So I just feel like, like you've passed like some sort of I, I don't want to say test you know what I mean but I mean that's what I'm hearing you know like you've passed some sort of test you know that that you gave your like that your soul gave you okay like you've shown spirit that you have elevated in some sort of way you know yeah and you're really on the right path at this time okay so um I hope you don't feel like you're not doing things right you know you could um be very aware of the mirroring effect at this time, you know, or or you're starting to attract people who are really mirroring that light, beautiful, amazing energy that is within you. You know what I mean? Like you're so contagious, your energy is it's great okay but it can also be dangerous you know like you might notice like if you get pissed off in public you know what I mean then all of a sudden you start seeing all kinds of crazy stuff you know like <laughs> you start seeing like you know people tripping you might see people
people like get into a fight. You might see like people having like really bad road rage, you know, because um, your thoughts are very powerful at this time, you know. So be very careful, you know, when it comes to getting upset, you know what I mean? Because your energy is, like I said, very contagious, you know. Um, but spirit doesn't want you to spend this time being upset, you know, or feeling like, you know, this time in the trenches is not the best time. Like, please always revel in the time where you're on your knees and you're doing this hard work, you know, because when well, you do get to stand up and get dressed up, okay, and, and get to looking good, you know, then that's when everybody better watch the fuck out, okay? Look, be unfuckwithable. <laughs> that's what spirit's training you to do while you're on your knees doing this work, okay? They're training you to be unfuckwithable. Because you put in all of this work and you did everything that you were supposed to do. So how could anybody ever fuck with you? No, bitch, you don't know me. You don't know what I do. I do my shit for God, okay? <laughs> and so no one else should ever be able, you know, like that's the kind of energy, you know, that you could either be in or need to be entering, okay? It says, if you find yourself fucked with, take a moment to reflect on what part of you is out of whack and susceptible to being fuck withable. Then check that shit with some self love. When you're filled to the brim with love, nothing anyone says or does bothers you, and no negativity can touch you. You know what that makes you? A badass, a big old spiritual badass. Okay, you are your your spiritual badassery is shining through every moment and every cell in your body. Okay. Okay, like you are walking around here glowing. Okay, you're downright fucking radioactive with this amazing energy that you are giving. Okay, because radiation affects the energy, um, you know, like wherever radiation happens, you know, and it's like if you think about radiation, okay, spirit, okay, look, just bear with me, okay, you know, spirit, they get random, okay, when you're dealing with radiation, right, it's like. It's like really more of the fallout, you know, like the excess chemicals that are the most dangerous parts of it. You know what I mean? And it's like even with like a bomb, you know, that that contains radiation. It's like that radiation gets carried in the wind. You know what I mean? Across the land, you know, and that energy kind of spreads, you know, and it, it has the ability to like do damage. And also it has the ability to affect someone's genealogy for generations after they have come into contact with it you know so um spirit is just saying you know you have that same type of energy but in a good way okay like it's like the wind carries your energy you know like throughout your neighborhood type shit okay <laughs> like you might see your neighborhood improving you know or seeing your neighbors being nicer to each other or you know just seeing things improve around you and outside of you because that's the mirror effect that you've been trying to accomplish this entire time okay so you're doing great now let's read this three wishes okay so it says Fairy magic is coming to you. The chaos energy creates explosive results in your life, okay? How perfect is that? It says, fairy, fairy, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With ego blasts, tricks that last, and giggles all in a row, okay? <laughs> so that's how your garden grows, okay? Um, with ego blasts, tricks that last, and giggles all in a row, okay? Like, that's how spirit gets you. They shake up your ego. You know what I mean? Um, they play tricks on you and, and show you little tricky energy, you know, in order to make you more aware of tricking type of energies. You know what I mean? And then they help you to understand all of the issues that you went through. And, um, you know, that's when the giggles come. You know, that's when shit becomes so funny. Like when I go through stuff, I'd be in here rolling, okay, alone. I'd be laughing like a motherfucker <laughs> because stuff is. It's funny you know it's way more funny than it would have been like in the past you know like I just really love finding the humor and everything and I feel like they got me going on and on about that in order to get you to do that more you know laugh a little bit more at things that are going on you know what I mean and at the ways that people you know um are, are struggling not not laugh at their them struggling you know what I mean but just giggle with that deep knowledge that, you know, oh, they're still learning, you know what I mean? Like, like a baby, you know, like a grandparent giggling at their grandchildren, you know what I mean? Because they see the pattern that they're in and they know they're going to come out of it eventually, okay? 
So it says, fairies say they have a bad rap. Sure, they play tricks, but their magic is designed to align your ego with your soul. It is the job of the winged ones to keep you in full integrity. That may involve hiding your keys. So yes, they may overdo it. Their antics also include hiding projects, important books, or something your ego really thinks it needs to look good, okay? They're in... They're in it for the sole purpose of making your higher self happy. Um, three is the unwavering number of the Fae. If you've had the same message come in three different forms, tis the sign of the fairies. Listen up. They are trying to stop you from doing. Ow. I bit my lip. Okay. They might be trying to stop you from doing or saying stupid things, okay? <laughs> they, they, it says um, they're trying to stop you from doing stupid things doing something stupid they are also asking you to laugh a bit about human fo foibles um it says fairies are not codependent so don't think you can manipulate them or your current circumstances by throwing a tantrum they are already on to some of your tricks however they do have compassion they ask you to wish on them and their magic right now but please don't try to control the outcome that's so boring the worst thing that can happen is to ask the fairies for something specific and they do it exactly as you wish their magic is so much bigger than that okay let the winged ones um dish up some face surprises how delicious three wishes okay so um the fairies want to give you guys a few wishes okay um because of all of this um because of all of this persistence okay they like they like your consistency okay they like how persistent you are with trying to grow and trying to evolve you know what i mean and um they're wanting you to like they said you know look at the tricky things and the difficult things that happen as a shake up you know as okay well you know we wanted to give you this but in order for this to happen you had to stub your toe crash your car you know what i mean um run into that person you can't stand and then then you became a vibrational match after going through all of those things and learning all of those small lessons. Now you're ready for this wish that you asked the fairies for. OK, so um, just look at the things that you're going through as more help rather than, you know, a difficult thing. I've really been working on that. OK, especially in the. It, when it comes to love, I feel like the fairies are really helping you with your love life, okay? And, um, you know, that makes a lot of sense, okay? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, you know, because love is kind of a tricky thing, you know? Dating and relationships, those are tricky things, you know? So... Um, you and your partner, you know, if, if you're with someone, you know, you might have a bad day with them. You know what I mean? Things might go crazy. You know, you guys both lose your, lose your keys and lose your temper and go through all of this shit. You know what I mean? But then, you know, you guys might come back together a few days later, you know, and then really have a conversation you guys really need to have, you know, really talk about, OK, the way we talk to each other, the way we deal with each other. So it's like you never really know where spirit is trying to take you or what they're trying to show you. And if you try try to control the way they're trying to show you something, then you're not going to get what they're actually trying to show you or tell you, you know, you had to go through certain experiences with them in order to make the proper choices. Okay. With this two of wands, you know, it's like sometimes, you know, it's not like the big obvious one that you need to choose. Sometimes it's the more subtle one, you know, that's right, you know, more, more your level, you know, a, a match for your energy, okay? Um, sometimes they're trying to get you um, in more of a creative energy, you know, trying to make you see things differently. So I just, that's what they're, they're working with you at this time, okay? We got amphibians. Human creatures with reptilian and amphibian-like features and are semi-aquatic in nature, lived on land, evolved to mostly water, have been encountered near swampy regions known to attack people without being provoked, okay? So, just be careful that you're not attacking people, you know, or um, projecting in any way, you know, like... Um, 
make sure that you're um, constantly checking yourself and checking your energy, you know, practicing temperance, like actively practicing it, you know, um, the best place to learn patience for me is traffic, you know, because I really like to drive fast, you know, and spirit used driving a lot to teach me a lot of different things. You know, I used to get road rage really bad and just like, I really like, I really just don't be liking traffic, okay? <laughs> um, but I feel like you guys have really evolved, you know, to a more controlled place when it comes to your emotions, okay? You could live, like, I don't know, near a swampy region, you know? Also, you could um, be having people sort of attacking you, you know what I mean? Um, like, unprovoked, you know, but sometimes even that is trying to tell you something, you know, somebody could attack you for no reason and tell you some shit that's true as hell about yourself, and you'd be like, spirit, do I do that? Like, you know, but you never would have known that if that person didn't attack you unprovoked, you know, so even those types of things, you know, um, if you can keep your calm through them, they are um, amazing lessons and things that you need, okay? You can have a blue, yellow, white, black, red, purple, or gray car, okay? What else? We got the hand flower, okay, or the devil's hand. This is all about you being on your knees at this time, okay? Going through a lot of different hard work, hard things, you know, people judging you and attacking you, you know what I mean? And, you know, pointing this finger at you, you know, it might feel like the devil, you know, has a hold over your life sometimes, you know, but... I feel like it's all in what you're saying, you know, because it says speak of the devil. The hand flower is also known as the devil's hand. OK, so that's why I'm talking about the devil. <laughs> but it says speak of the devil. You know, I feel like um, there are a lot of things that you could have um, spoken out into your reality. You know what I mean? That you have no choice but to like kind of watch it play out now that you've spoken it into your reality okay so just be kind of careful the way that you're looking at things or the way that you're kind of predicting your future you know um because you can attract those energies that come out of your mouth okay you also could be having um you could be someone who has heart problems or lower abdominal pain issues okay you could be having issues with your solar plexus okay or or with your heart chakra okay could be um giving you like heartburn or you know or you could be feeling like um not not so confident at this time we got warning keep away from children so I feel like um if you have children okay um your children could know too much about your business you know like something stinks <laughs> it says it smells so bad okay it says divine masculine and it says cosmic journey and it says why not me you know I feel like like, maybe you're not feeling like you're good enough at this time. You know what I mean? And it's like this energy could be sort of um, affecting your children. Because like I said, you know, I was talking about how your energy, you know, kind of gets caught in the wind and it affects everything around you, you know. So um, just be very careful, you know. I mean, of course, you're going to have your days, you know, where you feel like this or you feel like that or whatever, you know. And you don't necessarily mean to be affecting everyone with your energy. But just make sure that you do watch that, you know, if you have children, you know, um, they kind of count on you and your nice, balanced, loving energy. They count on you staying on the right path, you know, and not going too far off the handles because, you know, spirit will take you way out there. You know what I mean? Just to bring you right back and be like, now be grateful <laughs> and remember that we fucking can bring you back from anywhere. OK, so um, just try not to, you know, try to keep a level head at least you know in in your most difficult times you know like that's that's where you really learn how to praise God and really how to have faith is in your most darkest and difficult times okay so that's what spirit's asking you to do you know when things seem a little dim a little dark you know start praying start asking for help start saying spirit please and please show that gratitude okay that's what I'm saying they, they, they'll take you all the way out there, okay, just to bring you all the way back and be like, now have gratitude that we brought your ass back. And, and this should show you that if you can come back from this, if we can bring you back from this, we can bring you back from anything, okay? So Spirit's working with you, you know, on your gratitude and on your faith, you know, on, on, um, on your belief in them and their ability to bring you out of, 
you know, to be your guiding light whenever you're feeling lost. You know what I mean? And also they're saying stop looking at things as if you have lost them. Nothing is ever truly lost, okay? This is why the fairies, <laughs> like the fairies just said, okay, that they will make you lose your shit just to just to help you find it and you know change the circumstances up a little bit you know so stop feeling like you know things get lost or things leave your life you know you know in the worst circumstances like no it doesn't matter how things go or how things come just know that they're coming and going exactly the way they're meant to be coming and going because you're walking on the right path you know and be careful choose your words wisely and your actions wisely in the way that you're thinking about others the when you judge others your brain you're you're also talking that same judgment up upon yourself okay because they are god too so just you know just just they're saying moderation <laughs> this is like their favorite word lately okay everything in moderation you know and that includes like negative feelings and thoughts if you if you are are overpowered with negative feelings and thoughts then you're going to see that negative negativity um mirroring back at you in your reality you know what i mean even if you are giving out positive type of energy you know what i mean you're doing the right thing but you're doing it with a negative nasty attitude you know so it's just like not doing it <laughs> you know what i mean or doing it with the attitude it's the same because your your mind and your heart don't really agree on whatever it is you're doing spirit's also saying stop doing shit that you hate doing don't sign up for something that you don't want to do and then complain the whole time that you're doing it you don't have to do that just don't fucking do it but really you know above all else you know they're trying to just establish a nice calm divine more divine order into your life you know so just go with the flow and allow them to bring your wishes to you you know and stop feeling like you know you have to do so much hard work you know or like everything's going bad for you like the more positive your outlook on life and the more you know upbeat you are about what's coming to you and knowing that nothing but good things are coming the more you are actually attracting those good things to you okay it says people are in ignoring you love bug okay excuse me it says people are busy as fuck with their lives the way to stop feeling ignored is to get busy with yours take up knitting if you have to get into it no one is ignoring you they're probably just reading or something go read okay the day you stop worrying whether or not someone is ignoring you is the day you get busy as fuck living your own life you know life is to be enjoyed so if you're always in an energy of loss and you're not really showing that gratitude then it makes it a little bit harder for spirit to help you to maintain that this lighter happier funner you know what i mean um always the student type of energy you know where you're just attracting nothing but abundance you know it makes it a little bit harder once you get once you drop down into that that funk you know just start looking at the things that you're going through and the things that you're coming up against that you perceive to be issues as a more positive thing that's taking you to a more positive place okay yeah and and make sure you um are grounding yourself you know and staying in a grounded realistic type of um like mentality when you're looking at your life and the way that things are going for you okay uh we got uh archangel direct dial archangel is what it says okay it says love this job okay and on this person's phone it says heaven calling okay <laughs> so you know spirit calls us you know they communicate with us they help us with what they need us to fix but in that they are fixing us and helping us to heal others while we heal ourselves okay so um that's why self-healing is so important when it comes to walking your divine path because if you don't heal yourself then you're missing out on those dormant aspects that are built within you that help you to heal others okay i seen uh 3333 okay you might want to look that up you could be seeing 3333 hot like fire Ooh, i'm gonna make it hot like fire Ooh, okay you had it in the summer's day in california okay you might live in california but you could be just looking very hot you know very attractive even if you don't perceive yourself to be looking very hot very attractive you know but i was talking about that solar plexus energy you know spirit there's a lot of yellow here in these cards you know i feel like spirit's wanting you to be more confident in yourself you know to really be more aware of what it is that you really truly do offer you know and it, it's like 
when you adopt that that confident um, like mentality about yourself and you know that you're growing and you know that you're doing your best and you know that you look great and you know that you know you're trying then you get that same type of energy back and you naturally just feel more confident and you feel better about the things that you put your energy into because you have the faith and belief in your own powerful and amazing energy thank you spirit okay so um it says check your caller id it looks like god's angel of communication is on the hotline answer the call for some divine direction okay open your heart and your mind archangel gabriel is on the hotline it is time to get receptive gabriel is calling you from just outside the box he is the guy with all the crazy directives from spirit you have had some unusual ideas lately and that means the archangel of communication is on the hotline according to religious scriptures he foretold the birth of Christ and the coming of the Quran. This guy has it wired. If you're looking, my bad, if you're operating on a need to know basis, Gabe is your angel. Take it from the mother Mary. She endorses his accuracy and courage. Not everyone would dare to inform a virgin she would give birth. Now he's asking you to listen to please listen and follow your heart. It may seem like you are following the white rabbit down some kind of hole, but don't worry. When you emerge, you will be even more centered in God and the life you are meant to live. So when the phone rings and you see Gabe's name on caller ID, for heaven's sake, answer the call. It's directly from the divine. Hello. Gabriel, Archangel of the Direct Dial, okay? So Archangel Gabriel is definitely in your energy, okay? Communicating with you and helping you to communicate the things that you need and want to accomplish in life more clearly to others, okay? So that you attract the proper help that you need, okay, to create whatever it is you're trying to create. I feel like, you know, you're you're like some sort of master creator is what I'm hearing, okay? Like, whatever you create, whatever you touch, okay, it is anointed by the most high, okay? <laughs> so you are anointed, okay? Everything about you is anointed. Even what you perceive to be the shadows or to perceive to be the things that you are doing wrong, okay, with the ace of daggers. Um, but spirit's about to shake you up and show you a new way of looking at your life you know a new way of of embracing you and the, the parts of you that you perceive to be too dark to be loved by others you know yeah we got the two of daggers okay spirits blinding you in the traditional sense and open up opening up more of your third eye awareness you know allowing you to see things very different and also look at this fairy she got fairy wings you know what i mean and also she's looking a little bit sexy you know what i mean and she's wearing her crown okay and so i just feel like you know you have been crowned you know you're in a, a very sexy place okay you might as well um have fairy wings and be flying around here and grand wishes and going bibbity boppity boop for others because that's the energy that you walk in you know but I just feel like spirit's going to start showing you the ways that your own energy blesses you because I feel like they make it very aware in the different ways that you help others but you're about to be more aware of the help that you attract to yourself through helping others yeah we got the four of cups okay I don't know. It's like you're waiting on something perfect to come along, you know, and spirits like here, girl, <laughs> you said you was thirsty. OK, this is what we got. You want to drink this or you just going to be thirsty? OK, <laughs> the hills of mama shit. <laughs> OK, but all of this um, is leading to justice. You know what I mean? Um, the true justice, you know, is really figuring out who you are and, and what you will and won't accept. You know, that is the real meaning of your justice. You know that now that you stand whole that now that you be you you stand aware of your wholeness because you're whole the entire time you're just not aware of it okay now that you stand in the awareness of your wholeness you know um they want you to be more accepting of things that are not so perfect okay like everything doesn't have to be perfect and it's not always going to come the way that you think it's going to come okay but they want you to like, I'm just look, they had me just like looking at this cup right now. You know, it's like focus on your own cup. You know, I'm hearing Lil Wayne, you know, it don't matter what's, 
everybody worried about what's in my cup, you know, like you got your own cup, drink it or some shit like that, you know. Um, you have your own cup, like worry about your own cup and um, be happy with it. And then spirit will make it make your cup overflow even more. That's what happens. Your cup overflows and your blessings are so great and so amazing and so huge that they pour over and bless other people pour into their cups. OK, but it all starts with you. OK, we got paper cuts. Hey, paper cuts. All this money. I'm the only one I trust to count it up. OK, but spirit might be sending you other people who you can trust you know what i mean and y'all gonna be counting this money together okay we got dwarfs okay three to four feet tall look human and live in subterranean systems to a large extent as a protective measure okay possesses aerial disc technology and interplanetary travel capabilities okay so you could be um a very powerful astral traveler okay um that could be also a gift that spirit's trying to um help you to work on and also you could be kind of like the dwarves you know you want to live in subterranean areas meaning you want to be like out of sight you know what i mean you want to be away from all of the action because you feel like there's more protection there but no spirit's asking you to embrace all of the um all of the experiences and opportunities they are giving you to learn new things to um, raise your vibration higher and higher every single day. Who knew the song said and I'm that nigga now who knew I keep a hundred rags inside my jeans. OK, <laughs> they furious about this money, though, <laughs> you gonna, because you you are more than capable of accomplishing these things. You know, it might sound like they're kind of getting on your head a little bit, but they're telling you things they know that you can accomplish things that you could already be working on accomplishing at this time. OK, and they just want you to know that you will be successful. OK, you could have like um, it says the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You know what I mean? So. It's just like they were saying with Cinderella, you know, she was already up here. She was already in her in her status. You know what I mean? She had all the material things that she needed, but she really wasn't paying attention to the moment, you know, and and, and she didn't become that grateful, beautiful, like hidden princess. She had to go um, into pretty much her version of the dark night of the soul, you know, and deal with a lot of torment and a lot of issues and a lot of picking from others before she, you know, um, realized that she was good enough, just how she was, you know, and she attracted her Prince charming. Okay. And so it's kind of like that, you know, like those of us that are meant to be very, very big and have all of this, you know, things that God has destined for us, yeah, we fall hard, baby, because we big, okay? <laughs> you big, big out here, okay? And so, yeah, when you fall, it can seem hard, but Spirit wants you to say, I'm, okay, Spirit wants you to say, I am not falling, okay? <laughs> I am not falling, okay? You are not falling. You are growing, okay? You are, uh, what is it? Building character, okay? <laughs> Okay, look, we got um agonite. Wait, agnetite. Okay, it says I unite the whole of my being in full joy and joyous surrender to the divine fire of transformation and immortality. Let's go. Okay, give it up. Okay, surrender it. Stop trying to control it. Stop trying to do it and make it look cute and make it look graceful. You know, like. It's not a cute, graceful thing sometimes. Sometimes it's messy and it's ugly and it's crazy. And, you know, you forget to show gratitude and you wonder why you're losing all of these people and losing money and losing cars. And it's just things get crazy. But Spirit's saying you're not losing anything, okay? You just need to surrender to the fire of transformation. That is the fire burning away all of that shit that you do not need, okay? That you have convinced yourself you need in order to survive, okay? I just knocked some cards over. And this was under it, okay. Um, number one 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 zero, okay. 
it says change and transformation okay you are ready to make change in your life move forward on your spiritual path new beginnings are coming it's the perfect time to set new goals for yourself okay so set new goals and baby don't be shy set new big ass goals because whatever it is that you decide you want to do whatever goals you choose to go after at this time it, you're going to be successful okay stop doubting yourself and your power that you truly do have as a creator okay the song says sometimes i like the song i'm a sinner who's probably gonna sin again lord forgive me lord for me, forgive me for things i did to those men sometimes i like to spin alone but the ops don't come outside the ops don't come outside okay you're being initiated and um, I feel like all of anybody who considers themselves an op to you is kind of running the other way away from your energy at this time. OK, um, they're wanting you to focus on your thoughts at this time. Keep your thoughts very pure, very clear, as clear as you possibly can. OK, um, if you are going to be thinking about something, then try to think about the positive outcome. OK, think about what you're about to do with this money. <laughs> think about what you're going to do with this money when you get it, baby, because it's definitely on the way you know but I feel like you know they're getting more at spiritual worth than they are at physical worth but I feel like you know it's all like inclusive like it's all in there okay look at this fire okay embrace the element of fire you know you might even want to um do like a fire meditation you know where you just like light a candle it could be a little tea light candle you know just light a candle and focus on the flame of that candle you know um kind of um it's kind of like, <sighs> okay, so you focus on the flame of the candle so that you can embrace the energy of the flame. I know it's like how is staring at this candle going to help me, you know, but it really does do something, okay? I don't tell y'all to do nothing that I will not try or have not already tried, and I definitely do that sometimes, you know. Um, my altar's right over there by the couch, you know. Sometimes I'll do a candle, you know, I'll light a candle for, say, my solar plexus, you know what I mean, and I'll um, do different things, write runes on it, you know, whatever rune spirit calls me to write on it i'll write those runes you know i'll um sometimes i'll dress the candle you know like with some helping hand oil or some um different herbs and things you know to promote that that chakra okay maybe that's what you need to do for your solar plexus and your heart chakra you know light a yellow candle or a green candle you know and really talk into the candle okay use the vibrations of your actual voice into the candle you know with this candle i want to strengthen my solar plexus chakra i want to increase my you know level of confidence i want to feel more whole and comfortable in myself you know what i mean and then you um you can ask your angels to assist you with that you know what i mean you know even set the intention you know by the time this candle is burnt out you know i'll already be in the full swing of that you know or you know I'm already in there, you know, like manifesting like as if something has already happened. It's really the best way to do it, though. You know what I mean? So you could even be like, I'm lighting this candle candle in honor of all of the growth and, you know, you know, and confidence that I have just recently, you know, um, gained in myself or something like that. You know, spirit saying, get creative. You know what I mean? There's no such thing as saying the wrong words. OK, um, it's all going to lead to a, a big lesson or, you know, to improvement that you need. OK, but you're just going through an initiation. So things could seem a little bit difficult, a little bit hard for you. You could be overthinking things and, you know, spirits wanting you to just they're wanting to just comfort you and be like, like, no, babes, you know, calm down, okay? So, we got Oisin. Um, that was the, this last card that I pulled out after I pulled out Thoughts, okay? Um, it says the Dragon King is the brown tree dragon. He is the oldest and largest dragon. No human may ride him. We must instead kneel before him, okay? Which is giving me, like, you know, God high, you know, high um the most high energy okay it says if you draw this card heed the call in your heart feel the deep yearning within you do not suppress it any longer this yearning is the call of the king resounding in each and every cell of your body be prepared the dragon king and his uh retinue are rising okay so i feel like there's just like this serene 
dragon type of energy you know the earth dragon gives me like look at him you know while because I was speaking on that confidence you know he looks very confident very grounded you know very sure of himself and where it is that he wants to go you know so they're saying you might not be feeling that energy right now but it's definitely coming to you okay so don't worry about anything you know they don't want you to be stressed or worried or feeling like you know you're not good enough because you are more than good enough, baby. You are amazing, okay, and wonderful. It says don't involve yourself with whack shit, okay, because you're royalty. You don't got time for whack shit. <laughs> you only got time for royal, graceful, beautiful shit, okay? Happy shit, fun shit. Um, it says go on a whack shit cleanse for a week. It's easy to make a list of whack shit and then avoid it and see how you feel. My bad, it's easy. Make a list of whack shit and then avoid it and see how you feel. Examples of whack shit are gossip, comparing yourself to others, drugs, complaining, eating your feelings, eating your boogers. If you really do that, stop it like right now. OK, so I think that's a good idea. You know, write down some things that you consider to be whack. You know, if you're like, I'm so tired of hearing people talk about other people like <laughs> then separate yourself from that shit. OK, um, that's a really good way to make yourself more aware of the control that you really do have. You know, I feel like that's what they're trying to drill into you. Like um, your wish is their command. You know what I mean? It's like you you make your wishes. You put your wishes in the fairies, carry it to the angels. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, the angels are like, OK, do this and this and that and then here you are on your knees again because you're trying to manifest this next thing so don't be afraid of the hard work okay like um it builds character that's what they said and with that i'm done okay i hope you guys have a happy fabulous wonderful and amazing day okay i will see y'all tomorrow bye